Welcome back to my channel. I am Love of Fragrance. On this particular channel, I highly recommend fragrances and I thank you so much for tuning in. In this particular segment, we are going to be discussing refreshing fragrances. Yes, I have some refreshing fragrances that I would like to introduce you to because, honey, believe it or not, they are an introduction to me. I have a fragrance here that I find to be very appropriate for this time of year where we have outside, in this particular area where I'm residing, we have the rosebuds, the rose petals, and all of the beautification of floor flowers and everything sprouting up from the air, and the roses, and my da the daisies have come and gone, and they have bloomed and withered, and they look so beautiful, but it's cold. It's pretty cold. It's still cold, but yet still we have frost on top of the flowers. And I'm thinking that, you know, a garden is supposed to be really, really refreshing this time of year. And so it's supposed to be a little bit temperature appropriate for as I'm concerned. It isn't appropriate because it's still pretty cool, but that's the man up above business. But either way, I just want you to know that you can still bring that garden scent into your home with these particular refreshing floral scents that I have for you today. And I just want you to know that they are some that I happen to just have fallen in love with and I wouldn't be love a fragrance if I didn't share them with you. So let's get into these fragrances. The first one I happen to have happens to be the name of Emo Zion. Emo Zion, and it's by none other than Mr. Salvatore Ferragama. Yes, another one by him, honey. So you know this, this is a surprise to you. It was a surprise to me that it smells so lovely. But it isn't a surprise that it smells lovely because Mr. Salvatore Ferragama designed it. Yes, this here comes from the fragrance line of Mr. Salvatore Ferragama. It isn't like very, very new, but it's been on the market for quite some time. And it's a lovely fragrance, but not only that, check out this container. Pow! Check that out. Wow, wow, wow. I'm saying it too, honey. Look at this bottle. This fragrance container has leather. <laughs> a leather stripes on the side of it. Oh, that's so admirable. I think so. Look at it. Leather. Well, it isn't leather. It's like a, I don't know, a white cap on the top. I assume it might be the same fabric or material that they utilize to design it. Either way, it's exceptionally lovely and beautiful the way it's designed. And it has like a chain hanging off of it, which I think is so exquisite. It's very attractive and very unique. Highly admirable. Lovely. And it has like, look at here, some hardware on that simulated hardware on the outside here is if you nailed it through the bottle, which we know you did not, it would shatter. The glass would shatter. And the chain goes all the way around the top of the bottle itself and it hangs out there like a necklace. It's so gorgeously designed. Um, just look at it. Don't you love it? I've seen this around for quite some time and I've had this one forever from my special acquaintance. Again, I received a gift. Look at it. I just love it. Honey, see, that's what makes me fall in love when I get my first swift for the day. And this happens to be it. I didn't put any fragrances on today. I'm not going to put anything on, but I am going to test this fragrance. I don't wear fragrances all the time because I love a variation. And it's, honey, I have to be feeling it. I have to be feeling it. But right now, when I swift this one, I love when I swift. I love this fragrance. And the reason I love this fragrance is because of the fact that it's actually refreshing. It's so, so refreshing. This comes to you as a new iconic fragrance by Mr. Salvatore Ferragama and it's an introduction to women that has an awareness and a self-awareness and exemplifies a great deal of confidence. Yeah, so this here 
fragrance is designed to establish some confidence in you ladies so you don't have to be intimidated or co concerned about your your fragrance anyways <laughs> let's put a little bit of this on honey you will love this one this fragrance comes to me with a hint when you first apply it a hint of bitterness a little bit bitter but yet it switches over immediately to an excessive amount of sweetness penetrating from it Mm, 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 mm. And it's excessively floral, excessively floral. I feel that, and it's an intimate fragrance that's a extremely light and delicate and consists of an excessive amount of floral notes. But not only that, it smells awesome, excessively awesome. You will love this fragrance. Thank you so much, Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma, because I was a little concerned because I didn't think that by me experiencing your other fragrances and always being becoming satisfied because you know you give the girl confidence because you don't let them down you do not let them down and i am not let down with this fragrance even though it feels it comes on and it feels light mm, it's very it's a personal fragrance and it, you know, like during these times now when we are experiencing a government shutdown and everything, this is so appropriate for an environment where you don't want to intimidate anyone with a very powerful fragrance. This one has a little bit of potency to it, but the notes are aligned and distributed so adequately until the point where you find it excessively appealing. And it comes to you in a manner where it's light and delicate, but it's also very personalized because it's refreshing it's not as if you just stepped out of the shower because it has a pleasant aroma to it and it's very obvious that you have a fragrance on but it isn't intimidating in other words it isn't too affluent it's very personalized it's not very very obviously detected on your body but if anyone get close enough which they can't right now <laughs> unfortunately but this is intimate to an extent you would love to wear this in your residence. You would love to wear this on a very, very casual occasion. You would also really find this appropriate for, um, I would say, people classify it as work, but I would say office environment because some you know, places you won't wear fragrances to work. I wouldn't. It depends on where you're working. But this one here is very appropriate for an office executive environment, position and everything. You leave a, a trail of beautiful aroma following you no matter where you travel with this particular fragrance. It's, oh God, I have to put, I think I might make this my fragrance today, but I have to decide between this one and the other one. I have another one, so I'm trying to get to it, but I just want you to know that Mr. Salvatore Ferragam is excessively refreshing. It comes to you with an excessive amount of floral notes applied to it, and it, the notes consist of like a white musk, and it consists of a bergamot, and also a little bit of patchouli, and white musk, as I said before, and it also has, I think it's a note of Bel Belgian, 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 Belgian rose. Yes, my tongue got a little twisted. But anyways, it's Belgian rose and it doesn't have an extensive amount of notes in it, but the notes that are in here are aligned and distributed so eloquently in this particular fragrance to the point where it's awesomely lovely, excessively affluent, very affluent. Mm. And I don't smell any alcohol in this one, but the, 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 the um, scent or aroma that's penetrating from this is obviously detected on the first application. I mean, as far as like first application, when you first put it on your skin, it doesn't have to wait for an extended period of time before the scent or the aroma penetrates and you have the total affluent capacity of the notes itself and the aroma. It's easily detectable, it's excessively detectable, and it's immediately detectable. And it's so fresh, it's so lovely, and it's reflective in the freshness of this particular application that, that, that I just applied to my body. And not only that, it's in reference to your garden because it smells like a garden 
refreshness, a very, very ple pleasant fragrance that you would probably smell in a bouquet of roses or some type of floral arrangement. It's excessively lovely and is very attractive and is highly admirable and I highly recommend it to you. Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma E-Mode Zion and it's an EDP and it was also designed specifically for a very confident woman and who doesn't want to be confident? I know I do at all time, you know, but we know life doesn't work like that, but honey, Put your best confidentiality on, your best confident on, and you do your best in each and every application of this particular fragrance because it's exceptionally lovely and refreshing and refreshing, refreshing. This gives you a fresh scent every day, all day long, and it's excessively long, long. It's an excessive amount of longevity applied to this fragrance, which means the performance on it is exceptional. So I highly recommend Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma Emo Cyan EDP fragrance to you. And moving right along, I have another one here by Mrs. Ellie Sal. Yes, I want to introduce this for fragrance to you because I find it to be a little bit not intimidating but a little more appropriate for a, a home enclosed environment and also a quiet summer or spring evening. Yes, a spring evening because this particular fragrance here is designed specifically as a couture fragrance and it consists of predominantly roses and it's by Ellie Saab Lee Perfume Rose. This is a rose fragrance and it isn't intimidating either. It's a very refreshing scent because it's excessively, excessively delicate, excessively delicate, extremely delicate to the point where it's sweet. Uh, not as sweet as Mr. Salvatore uh, Emo Zion fragrance that I just introduced you to, but it's a lighter sweetness. Oh my God, it's a sweet sweetness. When I say sweet, I'm talking about personality sweet, not the scent sweet. Mm, even though it's went sweet, but the scent sweet also, but personality sweet. Let's give you a personality sweetness of calmness, like someone that's very, very peaceful, like a very, very uh, lovely, attractive, delicate individual that's soft and kind and sweet. <laughs> And it's appropriate for a person like that because it isn't overbearing, it isn't so potent, but you can also smell like the powder notes accentuating themselves up to you to the point where you feel like, oh, I smell so refreshing and I smell so floral and I smell so attractive to the point where it just gives me that innocent feeling like I'm not intimidating anyone or I'm not intimidating toward anyone and it's very peaceful. Mm. It's a peaceful fragrance because of the fact that this fragrance opens up with a gentle floral note. Excessively floral but it's excessively gentle at the same time and it has this here pretty peony scent applied to it but yet and still it's very romantic. It's very delicate and I recommend this particular fragrance for like when you're going out maybe in the afternoon on a casual occasion and you want to smell lightly attractive but not over powerful or too intimidating and not um, excessively um, distributing an aroma to the point where it has an unpleasant performance. In other words, you, this gives you a great deal of refreshness and gentleness and peaceful and attractiveness and admiration because it's very romantic and I find it very alluring and I love it and it consists of a great deal of roses and orange blossoms with a refined citric appeal applied to it but the freshness it's so alluring until it's inviting, but not intimidating. I love it. It has a sensation to it, a uh, freshness, but very sensual at the same time, but yet and still is somewhat a little bit exotic and sweet, but it has, like I said before, a little bit of powdery, powdery appearance to it. 
that makes it smells a little bit more exotic, but it's very inviting and it's calming. It's excessively calming and I find it very attractive and I think you will too because the arom aromatic aroma that's penetrating from th this particular fragrance happens to be excessively relaxing. In other words, it's peaceful. Like I said, it's relaxing, it's peaceful, it's attractive, it's alluring, it's admirable. And girl, because I excessively admire this fragrance, and when I discovered this fragrance, well, actually, both of them, I had to bring them to you because I knew that you would love them. They aren't the most popular fragrances on the market now, and they are excessively affordable, and they are lovely to possess. Excessively lovely because, like I said, if anyone wants to smell refreshing at any point, in any given moment throughout their day, these are the two fragrances I think that you would find most admirable because they give you that alluring effect of refreshness, freshness, refreshing, and you don't have to refreshing them because they have an extensive amount of longevity applied to them, but they're very admirable, very lovely. Honey, I can't say enough about them because I am shocked. Shocked, shocked, shocked. Yes, honey, Love of Fragrance is shocked. She did not anticipate falling in love with these fragrances. I thank you so much, my admirer. My admirer, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to test out some less popular fragrances and also such pleasantness that has such pleasantness applied toward them. But not only that, like I said, refreshing, 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 alluringly refreshing. I highly recommend these fragrances to you. And I thank you very much for tuning into my channel. And please don't forget, the containers are gorgeous as well. This here happens to be Ellie Sal and it's Couture Lead Perfume. And it consists of excessive amount of roses because it's Lead Perfume rose and you definitely get the rose effect from this pink roses specifically pink roses and i highly recommend mr salvatore Farragoma emor zion edp to you as well because with this one you are getting confidence but not only confidence but refreshing confidence and relaxing and atmospheric penetration from this particular fragrance to, from the point where you are definitely going to fall in love with it Definitely, and definitely this one as well. So I thank you for tuning in, and you have a nice day. And please, remember to always subscribe. Thank you. Bye.